Hello, welcome back. So I just wanted to quickly ask some questions in regards to my How to Make Minecraft series. So in the next few episodes, we're going to be starting to look at some chunk related things. And I'm going to be giving you two options in regards to this. So I've been basing the tutorials on my current Minecraft clone that I'm making. And you've probably seen the videos on this. Anyways. The way that I've been implementing chunks in my Minecraft clone hasn't necessarily been true to the original Minecraft that Notch created. The way that Notch did it is that his chunks were made out of smaller sections like these. This meant that if a block changes in one of these sections, then only that one section has to be uh, regenerated, if you will, which is obviously very efficient. However, when I made my own Minecraft clone, I didn't really do any research. Like, my chunks are literal chunks that are not made out of sections. And of course, this means that if I change a block in my chunk, then the entire chunk has to be regenerated, which is not the most efficient thing in the world. However, it works fairly well. Each chunk maybe takes about 0.05 seconds to generate, so it's really not that bad. And also, I know how to do it. However, another downside is that the underneath of the chunks cannot be cold. So what this means is that if I ever figure out how to generate underground structures such as caves and mine shafts, that sort of thing, then it means that they are going to be rendered no matter what. So even if you're on the surface and, you know, the ground is sort of blocking your view to the caves, then those caves are going to get rendered and we're going to be sending more vertex data to the GPU than we actually need to. And this will be a huge bottleneck, which, which would potentially slow the game down quite a lot. And the culling of these underground sections is an actual optimization done by the Pocket Edition and the Windows 10 Edition of Minecraft. And culling those underground sections reduces the draw calls from this to this, which is obviously a lot better. You're literally only drawing what you need to draw. And this is where the poll comes in. So we can either do option one. Option one is where we do it how I do it in my current Minecraft clones, which you can see in the videos in my channel. Which is where the chunks are literal chunks and underground stuff will be drawn no matter what. However, a pro of doing it this way is that I know how to do it, so the series can literally continue ASAP. And obviously the cons that I have already mentioned. Or we could do option two, which is where the chunks are made out of sections and I can potentially optimise it quite a bit. However, a con of doing it this way is that I do not actually know how to do this. Well, I do, but, you know, it'll take a while in order for me to gain confidence in doing it this way. And this would mean that the tutorial would be on pause for, you know, maybe potentially a few months. And so, if you look in the description, you'll find a link to a straw poll with these two options. For those of you wondering, why am I making a poll and why aren't I just doing it the way that I want it to be? You know, it's my tutorial after all. Reason one is that I want the tutorial to be how you guys want it to be. And reason two is because there's always going to be, you know, that guy. Actually, when Notch made Minecraft, he did it more like this he did, and this tutorial is wrong. He made his chunks out of sections, he did. <laughs> and so, yeah, I kind of really want to avoid that. Okay, so yeah, there are two options. Option one, option two, you can read it now, pause the video, and cast your vote. And in the event that option two passes, and, you know, I have to end up sort of pausing the tutorial series for a few months, then I can just make a different tutorial series in the meantime, maybe. Like, it'll probably be quite a simple tutorial series, maybe something like making Flappy Bird an SFML. And if you want, you can put some suggestions in the comment section of this video. And also, say your thoughts about the whole chunk dilemma thing in the comments below. Personally, I would rather learn how to do it the proper way before I actually make any more tutorials on this. But anyways, thank you for watching, please cast your votes, and goodbye.